Hi, I got Big Bang here. This is Barreled Souls, kind of like sort of old-fashioned, bitter, hoppy American barley wine. And it's one of these cool half-liter bottles they make with the nice labels and the foil that I started taking off already. So I had a version of this that was aged a year in a keg, and I was like, whoa, this is really good. It's, this is not a style that I'm usually really into. Um, I feel like English style barley wines are way like more, and those are kind of more popular now. Um, I don't even know if we call them English style barley wines anymore, but a lot of American barley wines used to be really bitter and hoppy and dry hopped and stuff like that. And this one's kind of like that. It's 11.9% alcohol, and it's hand numbered there. I don't know if you can see, but only 720 bottles, so this is the 52nd. And it's just about 11 months old. So I thought I would give it a try. So maybe the hops have settled down a little bit, but not totally dissipated. And they, it seems like they really only sell their fancier bottles like this at the brewery. That's where I bought this. Um, but you can see their cans around. Every once in a while they get shipped. So let's see. Oh, and I got the glass too. Yeah, I think these bottles are bottle conditioned. That's what it kind of looked like when I was pouring. Looks really nice actually. It's a really nice head for such a strong beer. And lots of lots of carbonation. Yep, this is definitely bottle conditioned. The head looks really, it's like like perfect. And that aroma is interesting. Mm-hmm. It's definitely very hoppy, old-fashioned hops. It's and it's very malty and like sticky. It smells like molasses and bitter grapefruit and very foresty, pretty piney. And a lot of, yeah, lots of, lots of molasses and like burnt sugars in here. Not roasty or anything. <clears throat> well, this, this is the sort of beer that I used to really not be interested in, but I'm starting to you know, return to a lot of the more classic American styles, I guess. We got legs happening here for such a strong beer. Really nice head retention. I guess the carbonation and all the hoppiness helps with head. But not many beers smell, smell like this these days. And I don't think it's getting any oxidation yet. Oh boy. I feel like it's not as thick and rich as when I had it on draft. But that was probably, you know, not ball conditioned. And yeah, it's a little bit sweeter with more stuff happening in this bottle, but that's really nice. It's not too bitter at this age. Very, very big on the malt. I can't even describe all the malt flavors that are happening. It's definitely got the toffee. Yeah, it's a little sweeter maybe on, on the palate than the, the aroma. It's not all molasses. There's toffee, there's brown sugar, rummy raisin sort of stuff going on. Hmm. The feel, it doesn't seem over carbonated at all. It's ultra velvety and full yet light. It kind of floats a little bit on your tongue. It's like a fantastic feel, like very unique. And I didn't get any boozy notes on until the warming of the throat. Yeah, no booze flavor, no boozy aroma at first. This is pretty cold. Yeah, but it's, it's, it seems like some really, really fancy molasses, that, that smell. Mm. And just rolling this over your tongue is really nice, but it stops short, stops short of being sticky and syrupy. Really, really well-made beer. I, I like it a lot, and I think that's supposed to be like an artist's rendition of the Big Bang or something. And it's also whipped in this like olive green bottle. So very aesthetically pleasing. <sighs> I like it a lot. I would highly recommend trying this. Or they often have 
some kind of big bang available or on tap at the brewery. Um, so if you ever end up there, don't pass this one over for all the pastry stouts and bourbon barrel aged barley wines. This one will make you, you know, maybe remember the really good barley wines, you know, like 10 years old, but this is, this beats all, all those stone ones or whatever that, or just too much of everything. This is definitely to the max, but it's extremely pleasant to drink. Four and a half, at least for this. Really cool beer. Bye.